While Diablo 4 did have beta requirements already out for, well, the beta, they now have the official system requirements for the game, and they've gone beyond what they did on the beta system requirements, starting with Ultra 4K spec requirement, which does look p pretty beefy. One thing of note is this is one of the games suggesting 32 gigabytes of RAM. Not that you need that at the lower settings, uh, but I do also remember people, I didn't actually test the beta myself, uh, but a lot of people were saying the game was very memory hungry on VRAM, and then that can spill over into your system RAM. I think that when you're using the highest resolution textures, uh, so we'll see if there's any improvements on that since the beta, but that could certainly be part of this. Now, uh, also they are noting that they will try to run the game on hardware below the minimum specs, including hard drives rather than SSDs, dual core CPUs rather than four core, and even integrated GPUs, but they just note that the game experience could be significantly diminished. Now, the good news on the CPU front here is even at their maximum settings, they're just suge suggesting the CPUs be a core i7-8700K or Ryzen 7 2700X. Uh, the 4K GPUs recommended are the RX 6800 XT or the RTX 3080, and they do mention that the game will uh, feature DLSS 3 frame generation support if you have a 40 series GPU. Uh, they're also suggesting 90 gigabytes of SSD space. Now we'll get more details on all of this, including detailed CPUs, but I think we should actually go back down to what if I just want to run the game? Now again, they mentioned the you can try to run the game if you're below these settings, uh, also, they've given more specifics on what they mean by the minimum and recommended requirements. Uh, with the beta, they didn't give you a frame rate resolution or um, uh, a frame rate or resolution target. So they, they now specified the minimum specs for the game. Again, you can try to run it below these are for 1080p native slash 720p render resolution. I'm not quite sure what they mean by that. Do they mean either 1080p or 720p native, or are they saying? I think what they're actually trying to say here with this is that you will render the game at 720p and upscale to a 1080p monitor at 30 frames per second. That's how I'm reading this. So I think they're saying you're playing on a 1080p monitor at 30 FPS and you are rendering the game internally at 720p and upscaling. That's how I'm reading that. I think they could have said that a little bit more clearly, but I think that's what they mean. Now, the good news is, um, despite 32 gigabytes of RAM for 4K Ultra, they're just saying eight gigabytes of RAM for the minimum specs. And um, they are still recommending an SSD with 90 gigabytes. Although again, they did say they will try to support the game on hard drive. So I think for the minimum specs overall, I've got to say nothing too crazy. Uh, we'll get into what these GPUs are in a second and these CPUs. Um, but I think the biggest thing standing out here from a, you might have trouble on your system for most people would be maybe you haven't upgraded to a hard, uh, from your hard drive yet if you're still on an older system from this era. Now the CPUs at the minimum are an i5-2500K or AMD FX8350. Now this is kind of interesting in the sense that the, uh, these are four core CPUs. So uh, the, again, they did mention that the game could try to run on a dual core, but that could give you problems. The uh, i5-2500K is a four core, four thread CPU from 2011. So they're not asking for a whole heck of a lot if you just want to play the game at 30 FPS, basically, a four core CPU. However, they do also suggest the FX8350, which technically was eight cores, but this was a bit before my time. Again, this was 2012. I wasn't that into the PC space at this time, but I think I remember something about these cores maybe not really being a, a, a really actually eight separate cores. Maybe it was more like four or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Some of you guys could maybe correct me in the, in the comment section, but I think what they're really saying is you want a four core CPU, but it doesn't have to be anything special to get you 30 FPS. Uh, the GPU is a GTX 660 or Radeon R9 280. So where is that? In my system requirements list, because uh, a lot of times you just pull up these older kind of obscure GPUs that probably haven't been tested recently by anybody. Uh, I like the tech power up relative performance chart link to this will be in the video description where they have almost any GPU you could think of. You can click on it, set it as the baseline 100% performance level, and then you could look up your GPU relative to that. Uh, so you can see GPUs that are a bit weaker than this, like the 7850, 650 Ti, GTX 295, HD 6950. Those are a bit weaker than this minimum spec. 
Um, but then you can look at GPUs that are a bit stronger, like a GTX 950, a 660 Ti, that kind of a thing. So this is the ballpark where they're saying you could play the game at 720p low settings and upscale it to 1080p at 30 FPS. Um, if you scroll through here, you know, if you're still in like a 1050, that's a bit stronger than this, but I wouldn't be expecting great performance, uh, all of that. So what do we need to jump up to 1080p 60 FPS medium settings? So if we want to jump up to 1080p medium settings 60 FPS, then um, uh, they are suggesting you jump up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Maybe some of these settings might be a little bit more RAM hungry. Um, and they're jumping up to a GTX 970 or R Radeon RX 470 on the GPU situation. So let's take a look at that. So we would expect if we're going from 30 FPS to 60 FPS, we're probably at least doubling, doubling the performance. I will mention that the relative performance chart here isn't perfect. These aren't updated in the latest games and the latest drivers, but it's, it, I think this is the best one I can find that has the most GPUs and is more accurate than other ones I've found. Uh, so anyway, let's scroll on up here. So you might find your GPU here somewhere in between. You're getting, uh, you, maybe you got a GTX 960, you know, something like that, 1050 Ti. We're still not up to the 1080p 60 FPS medium settings. Even the RX, uh, you know, 6400 uh, might not get you there. We're scrolling up. Uh, so here is 1650 is a bit weaker than the, what they're recommending, but now, you know, we've got the GTX 970 at a little more than doubling their baseline performance that they suggested, which makes sense if you're jumping from 30 to 60 FPS and increasing the settings a little bit. They do also mention the RX 470, and the RX 470 is, a, you know, could be a bit, bit weaker than the 970. I'm gonna set this as the baseline now. Uh, this also would be pretty similar in performance to like the 1650, that kind of thing. So, so we're in this, uh, this is a reasonable ballpark, especially with driver updates since these would have, this is based on tech power up review data, but I don't think they update it on the latest drivers, especially for GPUs this old and all of that. So this is kind of the performance tier you're at here for 60 FPS and we'll compare it to what you'd need to step it up. And you know, maybe you can find your GPU somewhere nearby, right? Like I said, if you're on a 6400 or a 1650, you're you know, in this ballpark in Intel Arc A3, A380, you're in this ballpark. Um, 1050 Ti is definitely a bit weaker. You might be a bit stronger with an RX 480, uh, something like that. A 1060 is a bit stronger. So there you go, nothing, nothing too crazy. Now the CPUs are jumping to an i5-4670K or AMD Ryzen 1300X. Now these are still four core, four thread CPUs, both of them. So again, it's still looking like you just need a decent four core CPU if you wanna get 60 FPS in this game. The 4670K uh, isn't even that new, it's from 2013. So this is a 10 year old four core CPU and they're saying 60 FPS at, uh, at medium settings. So that's good to see. The 1300X is significantly newer um, at a 2017 release date. But at this point in time, AMD was a bit behind the um, performance of Intel. And I'm not even saying that these are necessarily directly comparable. It can also have something to do with just what uh, CPUs um, Blizzard had on hand when they were uh, testing things out and giving us uh, that this would confirm that this, this performance tier would be available. So it looks like any kind of uh, four core CPU in recent memory is probably gonna be okay for 60 FPS here. Um, but what if we want to jump up to high settings, 1080p 60 FPS? So in other words, okay, we want to go from medium settings, 1080p 60 to high settings, 1080p 60. Is it going to take much, much of a jump? Well, it looks like we're jumping up to an RTX 2060 or Radeon RX 5700 XT. So let's take a look at that. So if we set the 970 as the baseline, uh, how much more powerful is a 2060? This gives us some kind of indication of how much, how much more demanding the high settings will be than the medium settings, since they're keeping the same resolution and settings. Obviously, system requirements charts aren't perfect, but here we go. So we're looking up here. We got to get a little more powerful, more powerful than a 1650 Super, more powerful than a 1660, more powerful than a 980 Ti, uh, more powerful than an RTX 3050 or a 1070. Um, now we're starting to get in here at the RTX 2060. So that is a 73% more performance than the 970. So it's looking like going from medium settings to high settings could be a significant um, uh, performance <laughs> hit uh, in order to maintain that 60 FPS. So it's looking like the medium settings are targeted at being pretty reasonable to play on. 
Um, not that a 2060 is not, not reasonable as well, but it looks like a, a big, they're asking for a lot more performance here to jump up to the 2060. Now, does it seem reasonable to ask for a 5700 XT to pair up against that? Um, uh, well, the 5700 not XT is pretty close to the 2060 normally. The XT version is usually a bit more powerful, but you know, we're, it looks like we're in this ballpark, which includes cards like the RX 6600, which is great value GPU right now at about $200 flat, brand new, uh, even less used. RTX 3060 is kind of right in this ballpark, RTX 2070. Uh, is, you know, not too far off here, especially when you look at the AMD requirements. Now, some games favor AMD or NVIDIA a little bit more, so that could explain some of the discrepancy here, or it's just kind of giving you a general ballpark. Now, what about the CPUs? Well, the CPUs, notice here, jump up to an i7-8700K or Ryzen 2700X, but notice that those don't go up anymore, jumping to the ultra settings at 60 FPS. So this is one of the few system requirements charts that I think do something that actually makes sense, which is increasing the resolution doesn't increase the CPU demand. <laughs> they actually got it right. Some other system requirements charts seem to just increase CPU requirements as the resolution increases for no real reason. Uh, anyway, we are going from high settings to ultra graphic settings without increasing the CPU requirements as well. So it's looking like these can get you 60 FPS. If you want to get more than that though, maybe you'll need more. But um, to get 60 FPS, we're jumping up to the i7-8700K, uh, which is a six core 12 C uh, thread CPU from uh, 2017. And the 2700X, which is eight core 16 thread from AMD in 2018. Now, what does that mean? It could mean that going from the medium settings to the high settings does have graphic settings that increase CPU demand. Um, you know, a, a lot of graphic settings just increase the load on the GPU, but some do increase the load on the CPU if there's more stuff flying around on the, on the screen, more physics happening. Uh, they definitely can make sense, but I still don't think they're asking for a ton here. This seems pretty reasonable. So overall, it looks to me like a game that will scale well. And that's the kind of optimization that I like personally, is a game that can uh, scale up to graphic settings that look really good and challenge fairly high-end hardware and take advantage of newer features like DLSS 3. Um, but I like a game that will also scale down to support uh, very reasonable systems so that people can just play the game at 720p 30 low if they want to um, on a system that they bought a long time ago. So hopefully this all ends up being true. Maybe I'll have a chance to benchmark this game when it comes out. Let me know if you're actually interested in that in the comments section. And if you're wanting to get your hands on it before it launches, uh, it looks like there will be another beta server slam weekend announced in May. Uh, I'm seeing an article for this uh, claiming that that will happen on uh, the 12th through the 14th of May, if you want to get your hands on this. Uh, like I said, are you guys interested in me benchmarking this, maybe even during the server slam? I don't know. Let me know. I hope all of you have an excellent day.